<laughs> you actually share the same birthday. What that is that? Yeah, no. January the 8th, but you wouldn't know it. I mean, what a day to be born on, huh? Presley's birthday. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. God, that's... Yeah. None of the and there's quite a few. Stephen Hawkins, you know, yeah. the uh, yeah. scientist. Yeah. Well, he's also and uh, me and Steve <laughs> have had dinner together and said, "What about this Presley bloke? I mean, we're both January the eighth, you know, but he gets he gets it all." It's all the attention. And he's saying, "Yeah, I just ri- I just writ this book. What what's about the universe <laughs> and, that, and how it works? I get nothing. <laughs> January the eighth is still like Elvis bleeding Presley." I said, "Calm down, Steve. Calm down. I know, you know." Well, actually, he says it. Oh, you Elvis thing. But um, I understand good. every yeah. word. I understand every word he types. <laughs> <laughs> well, and every year on your birthday, we get our, you know, here's whose people, you know, here's you put what those pe- red wigs on. Uh, well, we get this list. Here, here's who's having a birthday today. It lists a long biography on you, and at the very end, it says collects Nazi memorabilia. Oh, I mean, oh, oh, was that a one-shot deal, or do you have a whole wing oh, in your home? That's absolute. Uh, uh, any word beginning with B. Okay. <laughs> it's rubbish, is it? Absolute rubbish. Okay, I'm glad we cleared that one up. We'd always mm. wondered about that. We are listening to an interview that we did with David Bowie back in 2003. It was me and Renee and Peter Finch. And at the time, David Bowie was working with Moby on a project, so we asked him about it. He's a, a neighbor and a friend. Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh, I liked him so much, <laughs> oh, I bought him. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, uh, <laughs> I should be. He's only little. I could hold him up now. Can yeah, I? that's right. I like them so much. I bought him. <laughs> um, he's a terrific guy. I find him uh, a, a really witty and intelligent guy. Uh, he's very comfortable with, to be with. In terms, there's not, nothing diva about him. You know, he's like a regular guy. He's, mm-hmm. uh, 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 he's a very good conversationalist and. I don't know, he's just my neighbour, man, you know, and he said, you know, I hear you're doing this album and it's going to come out at such and such a time. I'm doing this tour. Would you like to do that? Because it's not too long. I know you don't want to tour, you know. I just don't want to do many performances this year. So, uh, uh, because my baby's very little, you know, she's like 21 months old. Um, So I didn't want to stay away from home too much. And it's just worked out great. We're doing seven shows on the East Coast and seven on the West Coast, which is like no big deal. But it's just perfect for me. I'm, I'm very obliged that he, that he invited me along to do it. I think it's very refreshing that you're doing that with Moby this year and that tour with, you know, reasonably low ticket prices when some other established artists, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and Paul McCartney are going around and charging the earth for these shows. Is there no temptation for you to do that kind of thing? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different vibe. I... I'm trying to promote an album here. You know, at my age, I have limited means of doing it. It won't get much play on the radio, and it certainly won't get any video shown on television. So I do have to rely on word of mouth and the Internet and, uh, you know, uh, some some degree of written exposure and all that. It's much tougher for uh, when you're 55 to get um, what your work known. I, and I think those guys are, it's quite obvious, you know, it's like about, it. they're collecting. They're, it's uh, about making the money for, you know, the work that they've done over the years. More strength to them if they can get the ticket price and if they can do well. And if that's what they want to do, that's fine. It's not for me to judge at all. I would probably do it myself one year, you know. I mean, I certainly wouldn't rule it out. Doing it this way, you avoid having to do a greatest hits kind of package, which you don't want to do at this point. I don't don't particularly want to do a great... Although I must say that over the last two or three years, I did Glastonbury Festival. And uh, I, I started doing a whole bunch of the oldies on on that one. I must say I did enjoy. Well, the crowd was so huge; yeah. it was over a hundred thousand people. So I really, you can't play the instrumental side of low. You know, it's not gonna, mm. it's not gonna <laughs> fly. Not gonna fly then, no, they're gonna, they're gonna want to hear heroes and stuff like that. Mm. So uh, we, we did that, and it was just a wonderful feeling. And I must admit, I did enjoy the vibe. You know, I'll be doing a lot of stuff from Heathen, some stuff from albums, more obscure albums like Low, but then I'll be peppering it with pretty well-known songs as well. I'm, I'll make it, I'll make it an, a listenable event. <laughs> <laughs> the new CD is Heathen. David Bowie, thank you so much for talking with us so today. Much. It's my very great pleasure. Thank you very much for having thank me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, man.